You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Okay, so somebody posted this on my Facebook page, Math by Fives. Yeah, apparently there's um, fisticuffs happening. Well, I don't know. He's a hockey fan. <laughs> anyway, all right, fine. This is an order of operations problem. What do I mean? I mean, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Whew, that girl. That, 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 that girl. No, that's an oldie, but a goodie. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And I know what you're thinking. What did she do? She didn't obey the order of operations. Oh, boy. P, that's the first thing. This is your hierarchy. P, parentheses. I've even seen some books change it to G for grouping symbols. What are grouping symbols? Roundies. Um, squaries. Um, straighties. What are the straighties? <laughs> Absolutely. That's a grouping symbol. Um, roundies, squaries, straighties, flatties. What's that? Division. D-I-V-I-S-I-O-N. That's when we have a numerator and a denominator. And there's expressions in each one of those. And, yeah, kinkies. The square root can also be seen as a grouping symbol. So parentheses, exponents, that's these guys. That's like um, 2 to the 4th. You would take care of that multiplication first. Then the multiplication, ah, yes. That's your products. And the divisions. Now I need to caution you. On these two, they go from left to right, Daniel's son, when they're all written next to each other. What am I talking about? If you had like two, um, 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 times three divided by four m m minus, no, not minus, let's go, um, times three, you would go from left to right, Daniel's son, from left to right, Daniel's son. <laughs> A Karate Kid moment. So now that I've taken that moment to say you go from left to right, we'll see that in that moment. And the same thing goes for addition and subtraction. Ooh, do 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 do. They go from left to right, Daniel son. When they are written like um, two plus three plus four minus five, you would go in that order. So in short order, let's get to the example. The thing that's causing all the commotion. This guy, yes. Let me um, take it right on over here. I have 48 divided by 2 times this quantity, 9 plus 3. Come on. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. So, what do we need to do first? We need to do the parentheses first. It's our P. The top one, the grouping symbols. Do you see any parentheses? Yes, I see nine plus three. So we handle it. Everything else, don't touch it. Leave it alone. I'm only doing one operation per level. Because until you are a professional, I don't recommend stepping skips. So this is a 12. Wow. All right. So now what do you see? We see two things. We see division and we see multiplication. But it's lit written from left to right, Daniel's son. Which means we need to um, go with our hierarchy. Our hierarchy, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. You do them in that order. Unless multiplication and division are really the same thing. So we go right to left. Daniel's son. Addition and subtraction are really the same thing. So you go from right to left, Daniel's son. And that's the part right here. Do we do our multiplication first? But it's higher on the hierarchy. I know it's higher on the hierarchy, but see how they're written next to each other? You go from left to right. So 48 divided by 2 is 24. Sure. Now, these parentheses are indicating the multiplication. Yes. So now I need to do 24 times 12. Dag. Big numbers. We could take 24 times 3, and that get we. Mm, that's a carry a 1. Uh, uh, woo. 3. No, 24 times 3, so that's a 2. Carry a 1. Uh-huh. Three. It's a 72, and then we could double 72, 144, and then we could double it again and get 2. 
88. What did I do there? I did 24, and then I multiplied it by 3, then I multiplied it by 2, then I multiplied it by 2. Why? Because <laughs> this is 12. Anyways, yeah. It's supposed to be a hockey stick. Because you're like, what the puck? Go! <laughs>